Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Butch Sharak, Options University, Friday, July 6, 2012. Access to this webinar is for informational and educational purposes only. Nothing contained in this video, website, or promotional material constitutes a promotion, recommendation, solicitation, or offer of any particular investment, security, or transaction. Options University provides educational services that are meant to teach you the risks and rewards of trading stocks and options. We're not a service that tells you what to trade. We're not implying or guaranteeing any profit. And as always, you need to take responsibility for your account. That's why you are a self-directed investor. And so with that in mind, make decisions based upon your trading plan, your entrances, your exits, and all of the things which make you a successful trader. Well, with that in mind, let's take a look at the SPX for the last four days as we're coming into Friday. And as we look at that, look at what we see here. We see a huge move up. And we see a, a breakout. And that breakout took place um, on Monday. As we see that on Monday, we only had three trading days this week uh, with the holiday weekend. And so as we see, looking at that, we see that we broke out of our previous yellow range on Monday and we uh, went to higher highs. And the, now the air is getting rather thin up there. As you see, we ended up with a, a red candlestick on Thursday. And so uh, our overall trend is that we are still going uh, uh, sideways, um, but we have an upward movement into that. So we actually have gone back up into an uptrend as we have broken out of our trading zone, which was uh, demarcated by our yellow zone. And so we're showing tendencies of an upward trend. We haven't really broken out very far, um, and we certainly don't have the classic upward trend when with the uh, 30 above the 50, which is above the 200. As we see, the 30 is right in the middle here. But we've got a breakout, and let's see what uh, that breakout actually means to us as we move forward. So with that thought in mind, let's look at a closer picture of that on this three-day week with only one uh, day left to go. And we see that here's Monday, here's Tuesday, which was a higher high and a higher low. And then we see here's Thursday which basically is an inside day. We ran the whole gamut, ended up with a red candle. Looks like a reversal pattern as we're headed uh, back in, could head back into a downward cycle, which we may see come back and uh, retest some of these areas. Uh, but what we, uh, of course, it actually could pop up on Friday. And we have economic news on Friday that uh, could move the market in the right direction. Uh, if you're a bull, but uh, we'll have to see what happens. This uh, looks like the air's getting a little thin up there. We may come back and retest some of these areas down here. Uh, we could bounce right off of this uh, yellow zone here that worked as uh, uh, resistance for us for quite some time. So we're at a transition time in the market. Meanwhile, if you're a seller in the market and you're doing uh, weeklies or you're doing uh, shorter term uh, trades, even if you uh, were on the call side here, you're still in pretty good shape as the market has not moved. We've got a much lower range that took place during this uh, holiday uh, week of the 4th of July. So um ended up being a good week for those of you that are sell sellers. And we're uh, looking forward to see what's going to happen on Friday. And as we look on Friday, we know that we've got an economic announcements coming up. In fact, the big one coming out Friday morning has to do with the employment numbers for last month. Uh, for the month of June to see how those were. The rest of the economic announcements that took place during the last week were favorable. Most of them uh, were better than what was expected. And we saw that the market was in an uptrend. It's still actually, I'm sorry, we call that an up cycle. We are still in that up cycle until we get a lower low and a lower high. And Friday, uh, Thursday, all we got was an inside day. So, Friday could end up being a crucial day to us as our cycle, but the cycle is up. Uh, broke out of the uh, trading zone that we were current uh, that we were in last week when we began this up cycle. At that point, we had a sideways trend based upon our yellow zone, and now you see that we've broken out of that zone 
and uh, we are now in an uptrend in our overall market. We'll see whether it's got enough strength to continue up and how far back it retraces or whether this is just an head fake that we looked at during this week. Nonetheless, I, I'm calling this an uptrend until we see proof uh, otherwise. So uh, we had an interesting week in the market. Uh, it was on uh, some lower volume, but nonetheless, uh, the bulls were happy and were in control. Uh, we see the Dow has very much the same look for those three days as it continued that up cycle. Uh, broke up above its previous high, but not by a whole heck of a lot, as we're still below that magic 13,000 number for the Dow. Looking at the uh, tech index in the NASDAQ, we see that it, it, it always goes to a bit more of a move than uh, the Dow and the S&P, and we see that it continued with that. Nice upward trend, upward cycle, giving us an uptrend as we broke through uh, previous resistance, which may very well now act as support. Again, still below that 3,000 mark, but into that previous yellow zone where we spent so much trading in the first quarter and the second quarter. So with that in mind, the NASDAQ leading us up, showing us great strength and leading the market to higher highs. Next, take a look at the Russell 2000, and we see that it also exaggerates and moves. And so we're about halfway into that yellow zone, which we uh, will now begin to pull forward. And we've got a definitive breakout in the Russell 2000 as it's moved up to 817. And had you been trading the Russell uh, on the uh, call side, you may have gotten into some trouble here and had to take your stops. But remember, that's just part of trading. It's what we do in order to protect our overall accounts and end up with profitability. This is the key element to profitability. What do you do to uh, your account if the market does go against you and we have a breakout like this? This is what separates the profitable from the non-profitable. If you need help with that, Options University is certainly capable of helping you deal with appropriate money management and uh, you can call in and they can uh, set you up with some coaching to help you do that. That really is the difference between when people are profitable in their uh, accounts and when they're not. All right, looking at the VIX, we see that we're back into that zone. That's where we already spend 85% of our time between 20 and 14, 15, right down in there. Then where uh, the, a lot of the volatility is coming out of the, has come out of the market. And we saw that up, um, and, and was representative by a much smaller trading range on the dailies. Uh, uh, when we're talking about the daily trading range, if we looked at the last uh, three days of this week. Friday yet to come. You never know what Friday is going to bring as we look at the weekend um, in the summer doldrum uh, portion of the market. Looking at the bond market, the TLT, which is the ETF for bonds, we see that we're in a very strong sideways trend. The bonds are not giving it up. They're trading within that very tight range and continue to do so. Uh, bonds uh, responding to this market with not much of a move whatsoever, just continuing that big bullish move that the bonds have had in the last uh, couple of years. Looking at the financials, we see the financials went up with the market, led the market down on Friday or on Thursday, as we see a red stick, a candlestick there, and we see a lower low and a lower high. Now, uh, looking at that, we see that we've begun a down cycle on the financials, looking at the XLF, which is the ETF for the financials, and we see that with that down cycle, um, even though we had a breakout above the previous high, we did not break above that uh, previous yellow zone that we had highlighted there. So the financials uh, do not look like they're leading the market up uh, and look a little weaker than the rest of the overall market. ETF uh, for the financials that one might take advantage of is the XLF, which certainly uh, on its own uh, grounds gave us a sell signal on uh, Thursday. All right, next let's take a look at another exchange-traded fund on oil. See what USO is doing, and we see we got a pop in oil on Thursday. As the market uh, began to pull back, oil uh, popped up. We're now sitting in a downtrending. This is a downtrending uh, um, sector, and with the downtrend, we see that it is now currently sitting on the 30-day moving average. The 50 is right there. 200 is right there. And so 
if it follows the t and continues in this downtrend, we can expect oil to retrace and go back to some of those previous low levels uh, if it continues in this downtrend. First time it's touched the 30-day uh, moving average in uh, since uh, early May. So oil showed a little strength on uh, Thursday, and we'll see whether it pops to the top side or pops uh, down uh, and continues in this downward trend. Currently sitting against resistance. Next, let's take a look at gold. We're looking at the uh, Gold Spider Trust, uh, GLD. We see that it has been moving all over the place, a little erratic as gold. Uh, probably is uh, not yet ready to head for that previous high of almost $2,000 uh, an uh, ounce that we saw earlier in uh, last year. So gold, um, kind of moving all over the place with the market. Uh, our safe haven for money uh, isn't giving us much of a trend to trade off of. Uh, as we look at that chart. All right, what kind of volume did we have on Thursday? Well, we see that we ended up uh, on the spider with uh, what looks like a spinning top or a doji. Uh, we did end up with a lower low on the spider, so we ended up with an outside day. We got a higher high and a lower low. We got indecisiveness as to which way it was actually going to go. And remember, in order to uh, actually say that we have a change in trend, even though we had a higher high and a lower low for an outside day, today is the key day for the uh, spider to tell us whether we end up with another lower low and go back and retrace, and retrace maybe to some of these moving averages or to that previous high, or whether we're going to pop back up with uh, some of the economic analysis that we have. Uh, we had basically around average volume on Thursday, so no big indec indecision as we look at the spider shows us an indecisive day with that type of candlestick. And remember, the great part about candlesticks, and they should really be part of your everyday um, uh, observation of the market, is they give... They're a real-time indicator. It isn't like looking at the rest of our indicators, which always have a lag in them. This is a real-time indicator, and these patterns... There are just a few key patterns that you need to know, and they will help guide you right in the overall market. So uh, that's kind of the market that took place this week in this uh, uh, one day abbreviated. And, of course, Tuesday also was a, an abbreviated day with the market closing at 1 o'clock. So for those of you that are gold members, we'll continue on looking at our charts for these our star, the stocks that we watch. These are the horsemen of the market, the market of the stocks that tend to lead the market up. And we'll see what they showed us during this month of July as we broke into a new earnings, uh, 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 new earnings period uh, in July. And we'll be coming up shortly with Alcoa coming out shortly, which many feel is the uh, beginning of the earnings season. For our gold members, stick around and we'll continue on looking at our stocks to watch. Uh, for the rest of you, this is Butchorak Options University. And for those of you that would love to see more uh, free uh, um, videos from Options University, go to www.optionsuniversity.com forward slash free gold. And thank you for being here. Butchorak.